Welcome to the continuation of my yearly series, um, going through every single year and saying what the best black metal albums are for me. Personally, my, my favourite black metal albums of each year. We've done 1990, 1991, and today we're doing the year of our Lord and Saviour, Questy. 92. The year the second wave blew the fuck up. Uh, this is when some good shit came out. Oh boy. This is some good shit. So let's get the obvious out of the way. But before that, of course, let me know down below what's your favourite albums from 1992 in black metal or in other genres as well. Hey, we don't discriminate. But mainly it's about black metal. So, of course, we got to mention the big hitter. Dark Throne, Blaze in the Northern Sky. Of course this is here. You know, these are like the typical picks. I'll go through these kind of fast. You all know Blaze in the Northern Sky. It's one of the greatest black metal albums of all time. Um, just the album, I mean, the album cover, just him just jumping through the darkness at you, ready to bite and suck your blood. It's good. It's gravy. I love it. Everyone loves it. Well, same for Shane in the Discord. You fucking can. And most other people love it. Uh, <laughs> and it's a classic for a reason. Amazing. Next up, Immortals, Diabolical, Full Moon, Mysticism. Tongue Twister and a half, that one. One of the best Immortal albums, if not the best. It's got that very early sound, because it is the 92 at the moment. That early sound, that raw sound, that aggressive sound, which isn't replicated on any of the other albums. This is the only album by Immortal. This, is, this kind of sound is present. And I love it for that. This is my favourite kind of sound. Even though I do think the melodies on some of the other albums may be a bit better, you know, at the Heart of Winter and Sons of Northern Darkness and stuff like that, but there's no denying the raw ferocity of this debut and the album cover as well is classic, like the fire breathing. Like, whew, it's good. It's very good. And one of my favourite black metal albums of all time is from this year, Burzum. Burzum. The debut by Burtzum. Um, yeah, this is just, it's, it's my favourite on the list. It is my favourite on the list. I know I'm going through these classic ones quick. This one, this one's my favourite. You know, from like War, this is, <laughs> wow. To um, the other ones, which I completely fucking forgot. Last Forgotten, Sad Spirit. Um, yeah, Lord of the Depths. One of my favourite black metal songs of all time. If you've seen my song ranking, that is number one. Yeah. Lord of the Depths, um, Journey Through the Stars, <laughs> Come Worthy, love it, amazing, I could gush about this album, and I might do an album review for this one actually, but yeah, love it to pieces, and it's from this year. Now, after that, let's move into the stuff which isn't quite as well known, or isn't quite as jerked off over. Let's start with Acheron, Rites of the Black Mass. That's right, this is another fantastic release from 92, with more of a, like a black and death style of things, mixing the two perfectly. It's a very creepy album, it's a very unsettling album, a lot of intros, outros, a lot of creepy stuff, very occult, that's the name of it, this is a very occult album, but it's furious, it's fast, and it's evil, and it's one of the best of 92. Now, Wicker. Mystifier. You've probably seen this one before. If not, go check it out. This is very, very crazy. The singer on here sounds like a, a demon. It really does sound like a demon is singing from the depths of hell. Like, from all the black metal bands ever, there's some crazy singers, but this, holy shit, this is one of the most mental. It's like an exorcism is going on. It's like, a <laughs> so unique and so fun. The blasting drums as well, the drums are really furious on this and I love it. And there are some doomy passages as well, it's not just all hell's bells, blast in your face, blast your ass off. There is doomy parts as well to kind of slow things down a little bit. It's great, it's crazy, and it's on this list. Now let's talk about some Sabbat. You talk about Sabbath and stuff like that? I talk about Sabbat, Japanese black metal, and Evoke, probably the best album. You've probably seen the album cover around with the guy and the goat. I don't know what he's doing to that goat. Fraser. But yeah, this is like Japanese Venom. That's how I describe Sabat. It's like Japanese Venom. Fast, furious, thrashy, with that blackened edge and the cool singing. It's a Japanese band and I don't know, it, it's very cool. If you like Sai, you know, go check out Sabat. 
And yeah, the goat is a bit interesting. Blackwater Rust, um, one of the members of our Discord, he, he recently took acid or some shit or some shrooms. I don't even know what he had. But he had this weird dream, and he dreamt that, like, me, I, Questy, the mighty lord and saviour of the realm, <laughs> fucked a goat to save the universe. I don't know. That's just from his deranged mind <laughs> on acid. But hey, I appreciate it. And maybe this album cover is that happening in real life. Maybe. Perhaps. Who knows? Only Blackwater himself will know. But yeah, it's about great Japanese black metal. And if you haven't heard them, go check out all their albums, because they're all bloody good. Bestial Summoning. We're going to talk about some Bestial Summoning as well. The Dark War Has Begun. Now, this is a savage album. Talking about savage, this is just ridiculously, like, zombies, with those fast zombies, like, ripping apart a corpse. This is what it feels like. They're just throwing the organs behind them. It's like, blah, 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 blah. It's, like it's like a fat guy at KFC, just gnawing on that fucking chick. It's kind of like that. Um, that's, what, that's what the vocals sound like on this album. And the drumming? Oh, my God. The drumming's, like, intense. <laughs> And I should start doing like sound effects for like movies. I think, I think that'll be good. <laughs> um, but yeah, this album, furious, fast, intense, evil, got that shitty production that I like. It's everything you want in black metal, and it's from '92. So there you go. So those are my albums, my favorite albums from '92. There is a couple of uh, demos and stuff that I will mention as well. In Slaves Yggdrasil is fantastic. Um, I do prefer the other EP, which we'll talk about on another year. You know the one. But Yggdrasil, got to mention it. Fantastic. If you haven't heard it and you live enslaved, what are you doing with your life? Listen to it. And of course, Goat of a Thousand Young by Granble Isles Key. Oh, it's gone dark. Talk about Granble Isles Key and it's gone dark. This is fucking phenomenal. Riff Masters, Granble Isles Key. Just, they do it like no one else. And this, this demo is just... Or EP, I can't remember which one it is. You know, my memory's a sieve. But it's the one with the, the the girl with the um goat and the black fucking face paint. You know, all the album covers by Grand Blood Key have <laughs> religious people with face paint. Similar with this one. Amazing, amazing album, one I have to mention. Last but not least, Ravel the Tyrant by Emperor. Emperor, Ravel the Tyrant. Furious, fast, shitty production, great. They never sounded quite like this. You know, they never quite sounded like this again, uh, which is why this one stands out and it's quite special. But I do love my anthems and In the Night's Had Eclipse. They're some of my favourite albums of all fucking time. But uh, yeah, Wrath of the Tyrant, it's fantastic as well. So those are my favourite black metal albums from 1992, including some demos and EPs and shit. Let me know down below what's your favourite releases from this year. We'll see you again in 93.